if the shoe fits. Albert grabbed his sister's arm. Wanda, what's that? Albert and Wanda were coming back from picking berries in the people yard. Something strange was in the grass ahead of them. They crept closer. It was big. It was red. It was... It was a people shoe? Albert jumped up and down. The shoe was the best thing ever. What was it doing outside? It was right where Groucho the cat could find it. Groucho had beaten Albert to some great stuff before. A huge striped feather, a pink rubber ball, a dropped hot dog bun, but not this time. Wanda, we have to take that shoe home, Albert said. We could put it in the playroom and it could be our clubhouse. Wanda looked at the shoe. It would be a perfect clubhouse, she said, but it's big and heavy and the playroom is far away. I don't want to get there and find it doesn't fit. So Albert said, we could measure it first. We don't have a ruler, Wanda pointed out. But I have an idea, Albert said. I'll use my feet to measure it. Albert walked next to the shoe. He put one foot in front of the other and he counted. One, two, three, until he reached the end. It's twelve mouse feet long, he said. One, two, three. Wanda nodded. Well, I'll double check. She, she measured with her feet. It's ten mouse feet long. Albert looked at his mouse foot and he looked at Wanda's mouse foot. Hey, your feet are bigger than mine. That's why we've got different numbers. Well, let's measure it with something else, Wanda said. I know, Albert said, and he reached into his backpack. Cheese! He held up a cheese stick. Albert measured the shoe and it was exactly eight cheese sticks long. Albert and Wanda crossed the yard. They scurried along next to the fence, around the flower pots and over the log pile. Finally, they reached their home. Now, we need to measure the playroom, Wanda said. Albert took the cheese stick from his bag. Wanda looked at it. It seemed shorter. Albert, she asked, did you eat part of the cheese stick? Oh, I got a bit hungry, he said. What else can we measure with, Wanda asked. It has to be one size, not like mouse feet, and it has to stay the same size, not like a cheese stick. Albert thought for a moment. Paper clips, he said. Albert had a paper clip collection. The purple ones were his favourite. They were all exactly the same size. He ran and got them. Albert started to measure the playroom. The playroom was seven paper clips long. Albert and Wanda peeked outside. There was no Groucho, so they hurried over the log pile, around the flower pots and along the fence. The shoe was right where they'd left it. Phew! I was afraid Groucho would find it, Albert said. Wanda measured the shoe. It was five paper clips long. It would fit in the playroom with two paper clips to spare. Fantastic! Albert picked up the heel and Wanda picked up the toe and they carried the shoe all along the fence. They carried it round the flower pots and they carried it to the log pile. Albert and Wanda stopped to catch their breath. That shoe was really heavy. Then they climbed to the top of the log pile. Albert looked down and saw Oh, Groucho! Groucho looked up and he saw Albert and he saw Wanda. Albert shrieked and Wanda shrieked and they dropped the shoe. <gasps> the shoe tumbled down off of the log pile. <gasps> oh no! And it hit Groucho on the nose. Groucho yowled, meow, 
and he ran away as fast as his cat feet could run. He was not very happy. Albert shook his paw at Groucho. Take that cat, he cried. Albert and Wanda raced down the side of the woodpile and they grabbed the shoe. They ran as fast as their mouse feet could run. They crammed the shoe through the back door. They crammed it through the playroom door. It was quite a tight squeeze. But eventually they got it in. They put it between the bookshelf and the ball hoop. It fitted perfectly. They high-fived each other. They were so happy. Wonder and Albert's mouse club house was mouse-tastic. Albert popped his head out of the toe and Wonder climbed the shoelace. Albert crawled through the middle and Wonder sat on the tongue of the shoe and read a book. It just needs one more thing, Wonder said. Hmm, I wonder what that is. On the side of the shoe, she painted a sign and it said, No cats allowed. What a lovely clubhouse.